or was the name of my cat until I changed her name to Amber because I like Amber better. So let's go ahead and head to fall. We're going to have to be dealing with these dragonfly enemies, but these guys are actually a bit of a relaxing break considering that you can kill them in one hit, unlike most of the enemies in this area. So yeah. Just don't fight them if you don't have to because they are somewhat annoying. So the... Oh, hey, Eerie. He needs ten. We already have three, so we only need to find seven. Also, plenty of leaf piles for us to climb. They have items that, you know, on top of them that weren't there before, and they allow us to reach areas faster because they've sort of eliminated some of the slopes and things. Also, uh, the leaves that were here in summer are still here, but they're, um... There's the caterpillar for us are more shriveled up, so they're actually smaller platforms than they were before. And I believe these guys, I think they're in the same outfits they are in spring. Or maybe they're maybe they're wearing t-shirts and shorts now, and they're not wearing boots. I don't know exactly. But yeah. So there's a couple there's leaf piles for us to climb. They allow us to get up to areas like here much easier. Oh, this is probably the area where most of the extra notes are. There's probably like 40 here or something, I don't know. I don't remember if they're evenly distributed or not. So, and since fall is a wetter season than summer is, there's actually water here in the lake that wasn't here before, so we can actually go and visit Naughty now. There he is. There's his cave. I believe this is, I can't remember if this is the season where the water is the highest, but it's close. It's either this one or the next, or, or winter. So he's been waiting since summer to be able to give us that jiggy, and we just now arrived. So yeah, if you're go if you're doing this level, don't forget those two notes on his man on his shelf there. He's got a rest bed. But yeah, those are very easy to miss, and they they will prevent you obviously from getting all of the notes in the entire level. So yeah, don't miss those. But you can probably see what I mean as I was talking before about how easy this level is compared to Rusty Bucket Bay. Rusty Bucket Bay, you're in constant, constant peril between the fact that the water can kill you, the fact that the engine room jiggies are so hard to grab. Everything in that level is purposely set to kill you, and not so much in this level. This level is a lot more open. It's got a lot more areas for you to walk around in, a lot more areas to explore, and... You know, the collectibles are a lot more spread out, but that's because it's over the same area, the same level three times. So there's the orange Jinjo. The, the Jinjos are relative to their seasons, I believe. So the orange one is in fall, the yellow one is in summer, the blue one is in winter, and the other two are in spring. So. Okay. See, it makes me wonder why they didn't just put four Jinjos instead of uh, five, because that would have made... It a little, made a little more sense, I guess. So yeah, we're gonna have well above half of our notes after we finish this level, or after we finish this area. So winter, winter doesn't have all that many notes in it, if I recall correctly. But winter is also the easiest of the four seasons to get around in, so that's probably why they did that. They probably did it on purpose. After we finish fall, winter is a pretty much a breeze. So it's a winter breeze, a very cold breeze. You may notice also that these flowers, I just realized this, these flowers actually grow on the, depending on the season. They're small in summer, they're medium-sized-ish in, uh, no, they're small in spring, they're medium-sized in summer, and then now that it's fall, they've reached their biggest, where they block entire platforms. So, keep your, keep your wits about you. The enemies, aside from those, uh, those annoying birds, the enemies can can change and trip you up a little bit from season to season, so keep your wits around. Grab that one. Just gonna keep making my way around the tree here. Whoops. Into the wall. But again, thankfully, they don't have quite as many quite as many ways to get screwed out of not being able to climb the tree in this area as they do in the other seasons. Even though it's never hard to get back up into the tree, this level this this one is probably the easiest. Honestly, out of all four seasons, the hardest one is probably spring, because there are so many ways to miss your jump or to miss a platform and just die. 
especially when you're climbing a tree. But fall and summer are very easy, and winter is definitely easier than either of them are, so. Let's go ahead and head into Mumbo's and see what he's doing for, this, for the fall. Well, he's got a caterpillar in here, and it looks like his hut's all full of leaves. No magic today, huh? Well, yeah, and there's some notes up here. We're gonna, again, you wanna make sure to come up here and grab these. Because these are another some another bunch that are fairly easy to miss if you're not paying attention. So we have 69 notes. I don't like that total. It seems like we should have a much rounder total, but uh, hopefully, hopefully that's enough. What I'm hoping is that I didn't miss any notes in summer, because if I missed any notes in summer, I'm going to have to finish all four seasons and then go back to summer without starting over again and see if I can find where they were missing. And summer isn't, it isn't as hard to navigate as spring is, but it's a bit trickier simply because there's no water in the, in the lake, so it can be a lot easier to die, because there's no real safeguard as you fall. Aside from just, uh, you know, the other platforms that are around. So we've already cleared all these areas out. Now it's time to climb. Again, the platforms to get up into the tree never change from level, from area to area. Or at least the platforms in the tree itself. Alright, that guy. Sweet. Um, can we go over this way? Yes, we can. That is rather tricky, and I don't know if that's entirely necessary. Let me check. I know I saw a mumbo token up there, but aside from that, I don't think there's anything else. So, I'm just going to ignore that. For completionist's sake, I probably should grab that mumbo token, but I already have more than enough to finish the game, so I don't really need any more. There's a caterpillar out there. We need it. I hope you realize what a risk I just took for you, little caterpillar. And then I'm just going to end up feeding you to a bird. There's another mumbo token back there, but I don't care. I need to kill this guy. I don't, know. I don't trust him. I don't trust you either. Now, I'm trying to remember what is in the hive in the fall. I don't think anything is. Let me go in here and check. Yep, nothing in here for us to steal this time. All the bees have swarmed and they've moved on, so there's just a caterpillar and some notes. I don't remember, I don't think the honeycomb is here either. Oddly enough, you'd think that the honeycomb would be here like in fall or something after they've stopped using them, but no. Also, that animation as you climb up is goofy. No, no honeycomb. I thought that was the honeycomb at first, but that's just the entrance that you can come in as a bee. Alright. Climbing the tree. Coming up towards the nap. Okay, there's another mumbo token out there. Again, I'm just going to ignore it because it isn't important. I don't think... No, there's nothing else in here except for that. Right. So, I like how the camera pans through it, though. Uh, pans through the walls and uh, lets you see inside the treehouse. That's really cool. There's nothing around behind the tree house. There's nothing on top of it. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Yeah, see, using that slam trick like that allows you to live in situations where you otherwise would not. And this is why I left those honeycombs on the way up the tree that where I did. Because I, knew I, I figured I'd get them. So we have more than enough caterpillars for uh, Eerie. And we don't need any more than 10. Uh, we need, so I guess it's 15 total that you need. Uh, 5 for spring and 10 for fall. Or 5 for summer and 10 for fall. And any more than that you can simply ignore. Because you don't need any in winter, spoiler alert. By that time, Eerie's fully grown, so he doesn't eat caterpillars anymore. Yeah. I do like this level. I like how 
the music changes. I like the different arrangements of the areas. I like how... Oh, there's there's the caterpillar I was hearing. I thought it was up on top of the uh, treehouse, but I guess I was mistaken. But yeah, I love this level. It's probably my fav one of my favorites in this game, right up there with Mad Monster Mansion. Simply because it is so thematic. It never gets mentioned in a lot of people's favorite levels of this game, and it kind of depresses me that it doesn't. Oh, so we have to do another fetch quest. We have to get six acorns for Nabnut before he uh, goes to sleep for the winter. So we're going to have to uh, do that. But before we do that, we can come in here, grab a... Uh, Another caterpillar, and I believe there's some notes up here on his shelf. Yes, there are. Again, these are easy to miss if you're just running through this level looking for notes. You want to come in and make sure that you grab them. There's also an acorn up here on the shelf that he somehow didn't know that he had. So. I believe all f all of the acorns that you need to give him are around here. Close by. So, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, now that we can now we can actually get up here to his attic as well, since this platform's finished being built, and I believe there's an acorn in here. I'm not exactly, is this an attic? I don't even know if this is an attic. It just looks like a pool of water. Kind of an odd location, I guess, but well, I guess this tree must be hollow all the way through, which makes you wonder how leaves can, and stuff can grow on it if it is hollow. Oh well, I am not going to question Rare's ideologies about biology or anything like that because they obviously don't really care so oh yeah we've had to do it with this platform before stop turning camera okay i do not want to fall so there's two acorns here one on the far edge of the platform and one in the middle so guess what we gotta do well first we're gonna come out here Grab this one. And in this one, I believe, if we just do this. Oops. Ooh, okay. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to grab the second grab the second one there, fall, grab the third one as you hit the ground. But um see I didn't do that, so. Why didn't they make these? It doesn't make any sense that they didn't make these platforms enough for Banjo to climb. It doesn't make any sense. No, whatever. Minor quibbles. Okay, how did I miss that? I went right through it. Right through it. Oh, crap. Be right back. Alright, we're back up here. I'm going to drop these off with Navnet before we do anything else. So we just need m one more. The one more up here. So... Yeah. Come on, now. now, Mr. Acorn, I don't like you, and you don't like me. But we've got to work together on this, otherwise that poor squirrel's going to starve. Come on, now. Didn't even make the platform that time. Okay, I've got to grab some health, otherwise I'm going to die next time I do that. It's not like climbing the tree is hard. It's not. It's just tedious. I hate having to do it again and again every time I fall from this stupid platform. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. The deal with this. Oh, what's that down here? Oh, another acorn. I'm glad I saw this one. After I grabbed the other one. See, what is with this hitbox? Look at that. I should be picking that up right there. There we go. Oh, this is the last level in the game. I don't, whatever, I don't care. There, I got you an extra one, too. Yeah, thanks for the jiggy. I figured that was what you gave me. So he says he'll see us in spring, but we're actually going to see him again before that. Of course, he won't see us, because he'll be asleep. Whatever. Alright, and here's the final switch. The winter switch. 
to allow us to reach the final season. Now, see what I mean about this level being long? We have still a whole other season to go. Let's feed the caterpillars to the stupid bird. This takes much, much longer than it should. Honestly, it should you should just have to throw it once and then just have it be done. Instead of having to go through five or six, you know, caterpillars, ten caterpillars in total, and just, like, throwing them all, it's like, ugh, come on now. Seriously? And there's, there's even another one up there, just in case you didn't grab all of them before. So he grows even more. And he goes back to sleep, and we'll see him again in winter. We'll go ahead and grab these notes as well. Might as well grab that caterpillar too, just for uh, completion's sake. We're gonna have a bunch of leftover caterpillars that Banjo's gonna have in his, squirming around in his pockets and not have anything to do with. So, whatever. Or have, uh, maybe he can give them to Kazooie, I guess. I don't know if she, does Kazooie like caterpillars? I don't think, I don't know if that's ever addressed. I think Kazooie's probably more of a beer and pizza bird, but... That's just, uh, the impression I get. I have no idea if that's actually what she needs. There's another caterpillar. So th I guess there's a total of 20. And you can grab 15 of them is all you need. So there's nothing up here for us. There's another. Mo there's yet another mumbo token out here. Which, again, I could grab, but I'm not going to bother because it's a waste of time. There we go. That was actually fairly, uh, fairly productive. Not bad if I do say so myself. Now, you may be wondering, there's one thing in this level that hasn't changed and we haven't been able to do anything with, and that's the, uh, garden. Well, that's one of the weird things about this level. I don't remember exactly what you have to do. I'm trying to remember what you have to do to make the garden work. I think I have to go back and do something in spring, something that I missed. 